This girl does my offer. New. Now I can't get my dream pet. Ugh. Everyone always declines my offer. It's so hard to find a frost dragon. Wow. She's so rich. Oh my god. How did you get a mega bat dragon? I traded for it. It was my dream pet. How? I can't find my dream pet anywhere. I use Blocks Trade. What's that? It's a website where you can find trades. I'm going to try it out. Let's click on Adopt Me. I want a Frost Dragon. Let's see who's trading one. Hum, I think I'm going to choose this one. This is my offer for the Frost Dragon. I hope someone does it. One minute later. She accepted my trade. Oh my god. Finally I'm going to get my dream pet. Hi everybody. So this intro is kind of weird. Because I'm obviously on my Roblox homepage rather than Adopts Me. Well first of all I'm actually on my iPad. Because my MacBook that I usually record on broke. I don't know how but it just broke. I think I might have dropped it or something. I'm not sure. But yeah the screen isn't working anymore. And that is why today... I am going to be playing on my iPad. Anyways, guys, it's a shame my laptop broke at this time because yesterday I was informed that I was finally an Adopt Me influencer. Now, you guys might be like, what, Sunny? I thought you already are an Adopt Me influencer. But basically, I wasn't ranked yet. So basically, now if you guys go on the Adopt Me group, which is Uplift Games, you'll be able to see that I'm actually an influencer on there. So let's go to Uplift Games, and as you can see, my rank is influencer. And if we scroll down to influencer, we'll be able to see my avatar. And I'm gonna be telling you the influencer benefits I get from this. All right, guys, this is my first reaction as well because I have not seen this at all. They just informed me, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna start filming. So they gave me influencer on my main account. However, as you guys know, I have no pets on my main account, apart from the Adopt Me pets that Adopt Me gave. Me. Now this is my friend Oceansy and as you guys can see he also has a star on his name. Now I've never seen that on my name so let's go and see if it's on our name. Are you ready guys? I'm so excited. <gasps> oh my god it's so pretty. It's on my name. This is really gonna make sure people don't impersonate me and guys if you ever see someone saying I'm Sunny X Misty well they're not because they don't have the star on their name. And by the way guys I'm never ever gonna say that I'm on an alt account. But firstly I'd never ever scam anybody and secondly it's definitely just an impersonator because i never ever say when i'm on an alt account and even if i am i will still deny it okay so i'm asking my friend what else is there when you get influencer the tag and gifts all right so we actually do get gifts when you're an influencer and i actually got this before i even got the tag basically every single update they would give me a neon of all the legendaries for example the yule dog from um, this update and I also got a field mouse from another update and I just forgot to transfer these to my alt account so I'll do that in a bit and there's also an extra setting on your settings where there is extra and you can actually take off your display rank when you don't want people to know that you're actually a star or an influencer guys I'm gonna join my alt account right now just to see the star on my name also if you have a look at my inventory people are wondering how I got the neon gorilla so quickly literally within a day of the update well that's because adopts me actually gave me four to make neon oh my god it's me with a star next to my name that's so cute i'm just gonna um scam myself because i need these pets in my account all right perfect i'm just gonna click on accept and take all these pets anyways guys let's leave and by the way guys in this video i will be teaching you guys how to run a successful youtube channel so then you guys can be adopt me influencers just like me we are gonna see how many people are gonna fall for the fake sunny x misty scam so let's go to my private servers my trading servers on my group and let's click on server one this is gonna take forever to 
load into so i will be right back we're in position number 10 but trust me guys this is gonna take forever after a whole 20 minutes of waiting we have finally joined my server and let's see how gullible my fans are i really hope they aren't but lots of my fans say to me that i got scammed by big sunny x misty and then it really 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 breaks my heart all right let's go to the main map and let's see if my fans are there i'm also going to change my avatar really quickly because otherwise they're going to know i'm sunny x misty and we're trying to be an impersonator of ourselves oh my god why won't this thing go away i think it's broken i think i'm gonna leave this is so annoying all right time to join another server i'm gonna be joining server three since it's the easiest to get into that still took me quite a while to get into but let me go ahead and click on extra and take away my display rank and now i'm gonna go and change my avatar i want to look like something that sunny x misty would wear but i don't want to look exactly like her but i do want to look like a free robux outfit of her all right let's change our name to sunny x misty and i think this is something an impersonator would wear so i think this is good oh my god okay this is my fan server i absolutely love it and there's so many people's names that are called sunny x misty fan well obviously because it's my fan server but like sometimes i watch my friends youtube videos and i always see people called sunny x misty fans in their servers and i'm just like oh my god that's so sweet all right guys let's prank my fans hey guys it's me sunny x misty welcome back to my channel it's super crowded so i don't think anybody really cares that much so i'm gonna take out a rideable bear and people might be able to see me a bit more now hey guys it's me the real sunny x misty who wants to be in my video and by the way guys i never do this people are like fake don't lie that's good that means that people know that i'm fake wait but i'm not but i'm an impersonator i'm not even meant to be real i am real i have vip see real sunny wouldn't say that for real real i wouldn't i would never say that i'm just doing this for the video i'm really happy that no one's fallen for it and i'm just gonna tell them guys it actually is me where is misty <laughs> right here i'm gonna name my bear misty um anyways this is totally misty misty is here i'm on her right now misty is a bat dragon um no misty is a bear what do you mean you're fake you don't have the badge well i mean i only got the badge right now so let me turn it on and show everyone but you know everyone did pass the test so that is really good and everyone's like oh my god where's sunny sunny guys she's a scammer i'm not i literally have the tag on hi guys it's not her oh my god <laughs> anyways guys so i just tested out my gold badge so now i'm gonna be telling you guys how you guys can get your own badge I get thousands of emails every single day asking, Sunny X Misty, you inspired me and I'd love to be famous just like you. Well, I wanted to make this video a long time ago. However, I think today is a perfect opportunity to make this video. All right, guys. So first of all, I'm going to be telling you the benefits you get when you're in the influencer program. So first of all, obviously you get this badge. However, you also get neons and bucks and like any perks from the new update whenever they launch this is my friend charlie's video by the way as you can see adoptsumi gave him a frost unicorn and neon one during an update and yeah every single time an update happens we influencers get free pets to promote now i'm going to tell you guys the requirements on what you guys need to be an influencer so I got this screenshot of what the requirements are and as you can see, you need at least 100,000 followers on a popular social media. Examples of this are, for example, YouTube and TikTok. I would have applied ages ago because I was famous on TikTok in 2021 and I had actually met the um, requirements. So that was good, but I just didn't know you could apply at that time. I thought it was only for YouTube, so that's why I also opened up a YouTube account. But if you have 10,000 followers, you'll get a special rank on their Discord, which is really cool. Oh, and by the way, if you have 100,000 and you're an influencer, then you will also get a special rank in their Discord as well. I have that now. Another requirement is that you need to post Adopt Me content actively. For example, if you have a Roblox YouTube account with over 100,000 followers, and you post about Bloxburg, you will be declined because you have to post only adopt me. And it can't be like that you quit and your last most recent video was a year ago and then you just quit. Like you have to be active. So guys, here are a few tips on how to get started with your YouTube channel. First of all, make sure your quality is good. So my longer YouTube videos are filmed on my laptop. I have a MacBook. Now people ask me, why don't you have a PC? I thought you had a PC. That's because I don't know how to record on a PC. And honestly, I'm more of an Apple person. So I really like Apple products 
so that's why I just don't use my PC as much. Now, as for my shorts, I use my iPad. I use the iPad Pro and sometimes I use the iPad Air. Quality is definitely key to making videos viral because if your quality is not good, then not a lot of people would want to watch it. My next tip is to thank your viewers by giving something back to them. Especially when you're new to YouTube, you need a few viewers to begin. And you should definitely give them something in return to show your appreciation. That's why I do lots of giveaways and on live streams, I love to give away random stuff. In my trading license, for example, when there was an update, I think it was the Gorilla update, that was the last time I went live, I um, gave away some premium boxes to people. Around over here, as you can see, I just gave away some random stuff to show my appreciation for joining the live stream. My next tip is to be original. Never ever copy anybody's videos. Now, most of these trends that you see on YouTube shorts are mine. Now, I'm not gonna say every single one of these trends are mine, but most of them are. For example, the what happened to the Adopt Me players trends, that was my one. And so was the baddie roasts. I basically posted them on TikTok and then people started using them on YouTube shorts. Obviously, I didn't mind because it started being a trend, but what I'm trying to say is that originality and creativity will always make you famous, especially if the ideas are good and people want to watch them. You can get inspiration from people, for example, like me and your other favorite YouTubers, but yeah, just make sure that people would want to watch your content and that it has good quality and stuff like that. My next very big tip is to create an iconic name for you. For example, my name is Sunny X Misty and people know me as Sunny X Misty because there's lots of people and lots of famous people as well that are called Sunny. Now people know me as Sunny X Misty and it's just a name that sticks into your brain and it's now kind of iconic as well. And that is why I recommend you guys to create an iconic name as well that people will remember easily and that people can easily pronounce it and that if somebody says that name to somebody else, they'll immediately know it's you. And also don't create a very similar name to somebody or a very common name, otherwise they'll kind of get confused on who you are. But you know, I do have a few suggestions for you. Just like my name, Sunny X Misty, you guys could get your name and then write an X and then your pet's name. For example, if your name was Ruby and then your pet's name was Cloudy, you could do Ruby X Cloudy. And you don't have to use that, it's completely up to you. Just make sure to think of a good name. All right, so I have a few more tips in one clip. So my first tip is to be nice and spread positivity and be a genuine person as you are. Okay, so my next tip is to use a good editing software. Now, honestly, I am no professional editor at all. I think you could tell my videos are edited less professionally than other YouTubers out there, but that doesn't make me not famous. As I already mentioned, it's the content and quality, but I do have a few editing softwares that you guys could use that are completely free and easy to download. So my biggest recommendation is CapCut and another recommendation is InShot. Those two are very, very good and easy to use. My third tip is if you want to use your voice, make sure your mic is really good. Because if it's not good or if your voice is really faint, because sometimes in my live streams, uh, my voice is very faint. That's because my mic is really bad in my live streams. But anyways, that will just make people not want to watch you as long, which can really affect your popularity and the engagement in the video. And my fourth tip is to create a pet mascot. For example, my one is Misty. Misty the Bat Dragon, and now she is well known in the Adopt Me community. So yeah, I do recommend for you guys to also have your favorite pets. For example, I know Megan Plays has her favorite pet, which is her mascot as well, which is Honey the Unicorn. So yeah, just make sure you have a mascot. It doesn't need to be super legendary or super rare. All right, guys, that was my tips and tricks on how to be an influencer in Adopt Me. If you guys enjoyed and found this video useful, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody!